Hello lovely people, it's that time again where we meet to talk about anything and everything that is on your mind. Remember this platform is brought to you by Love Life. We still remain the youth advocate so that we can be here for you, with you and all about you. Remember the platform is all about you. So young people, I request that you can please forward your request to go live with me so we can chat about anything that is on your mind. You don't have to be restricted. Remember there's no wrong or right query questions or even comment. Anything that you feel that is on your mind is what we need to talk about. Love life still remains and stand the ground that we will continue talking to young people and giving them information regarding anything that is related to growing up, especially sexual related health issues, so that at the end of the day, you can know as a young person that you need to be well informed and make well instigated decisions. We know the choices that we make in life might turn and come back to haunt us later. So we are trying to say as a young person, please note there are people who are willing to listen, people who are willing to talk to you, people who are willing to give you all the necessary advice that you need so that at the end of the day, you can be able to become a better version of you. We all know that everyone has dreams. We all know that there are things that you desire to achieve. And this is why we are here for you to say we are just going to guide you. Yes, we might not have answers to all the questions or challenges that you might be coming across. But at the end of the day, we will always be there to talk, to guide you so that you can know what is it that you need to do. You can reach us in all social media platforms. You can find us on Facebook, Love Life NGO. You can send your inboxes, your comments, your queries, your questions. We are there. You can also DM us on Instagram, Love Life NGO. NGO so that we can have a fruitful discussion as we always would love and anticipate too. Today, uh, hopefully, as we know, it's the end of the month, uh, the month of May that had quite a little bit, uh, a couple of things that were interesting, like your workers day. We had a nurses, uh, nurses day. We also had the boy child uh, national day. So today we are just going to be wrapping up on the topics that we have spoken about throughout the month. And hopefully along the line, we can be able to have, if there are nurses out there who would like to say hala, they can request to go live so that we can have that uh, fruitful discussion. And if there's anything that you would like to add or even comment or talk about regarding all the issues that I've mentioned before, be it about Workers' Day, we know as much as we are appreciating Workers' Day, the rate of unemployment is still very high. There are still a lot of young people out there who are unemployed and struggling to make ends meet and that is still a challenge. So what is important here is that we just need to keep a focus and remember that nothing uh, lasts forever. As much as you might be unemployed today, as much as you might be struggling, at the end of the day, you just need to keep pushing and one day that door that has been closed shall be opened and you will get your day to shine and be happy again. Uh, also remember that if you have anything that is on your mind, just because we are wrapping up and talking about the things or the events that we went through throughout the month doesn't mean that you are restricted. Anything that is on your mind, anything that you feel needs attention, anything that you feel should be important enough for us to discuss. You are more than welcome to request to go live with me so that we can talk about it. You can even comment on anything that is on your mind so that we can read your comment. Uh, if there's a question, if it's a concern, so that we can address it. Remember as a young person, no problem is not important. Do not ever underestimate the impact that anything that gives you sleepless nights, anything that causes you not to be yourself, anything that prevents you from performing to your level best is something that doesn't matter. Each and every problem is a problem and it needs to be addressed. So should you feel that emotionally you're not okay, should you feel that you are going through a rough patch and you need someone to listen to you, you need someone who can have a conversation with you, you need someone who can actually be lend you an ear, someone who can just give you that comfort that you are looking for, someone who can give you that reassurance that this too shall pass, please do so by communicating with one of our counselors by simply sending a please call me to 083 Three two three ten twenty three. That is always three three two three ten two three. And our counselors will definitely be in touch with you so that they can communicate and let you know how do you best deal with the situation that you'll be facing. While we are on that note, uh, a lot of inboxes that came through were mostly about people wanting to know about STIs, sexually transmitted infections. Okay, there are people who still want you to be on the lookout for when it comes to STIs and how do you treat them? Are they preventable? So what we can look at, we know that uh, sexually transmitted infections, they are transmitted through unprotected sex. If you are having sex with someone who has an infection without a condom, there will be an exchange of sexual fluids. 
and that at the end of the day is what causes the transmission to happen. The most common symptoms that both males and females would experience would be burning urine. Sometimes the urine becomes too smelly. Sometimes it becomes very uncomfortable passing that very same urine. Sometimes you might feel that you would want to pee more than what you actually pee. And you can also get this irregular and uncommon discharge that can either be yellowish or greenish, and it can be very sticky. You can also get pimples or sores on your private parts, and you can also sometimes feel that you are a little bit feverish. Remember, when you have an infection in your system, you are bound to have a change in body temperature. Hence, another person would be saying, but why do I have to feel hot just because I have an STI on my private parts? That's simply because any infection in your body, any infection that goes on and attacks your immune system is bound to cause a reaction. And most of the time, that is picked up through a rising temperature. So the best way ever to deal with STIs is to go to the clinic. Yes, there are those people who will be saying, no, you just go there and you buy a Leon Biza, a two liter, a Pusa, then Ukraine. I don't know much about Pisa, but what I know is that infections are treated effectively so using antibiotics. Therefore, if you are not going to the clinic, if you are not going to see a doctor, chances of that infection just lying low after Upuza that in Biza are very high. So you might be drinking that in Biza and think that the infection is actually gone, only to find that it was just lying low, only to find that the in Biza was just calming the symptoms so that they don't become aggressive. But at a later stage, that's when the, the infection will be recurring and you realize that actually I thought I had healed, but it seems like I haven't really healed. So what you need to do is that regardless of whether it might be embarrassing, as others would be saying at the, in the inboxes that they are ashamed to go to the clinic and seek assistance with sexually transmitted infections. Yes, it might be something that is a bit embarrassing, but at the end of the day, regardless of it being embarrassing, you need to keep in mind that it is your health that matters and therefore you need to take it serious. You cannot be ignoring your health just because you are embarrassed. Remember guys, you can send those requests to go live with me so that we can have a fruitful discussion. Do not be afraid if that is on your mind, anything that you want to say, we are here for you. Hi, okay, we have someone who's decided to join us and go live with us. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Yes. I'm good, thank you for asking. I'm thank you for you. the invite. We appreciate it. Thank you for availing yourself. <laughs> I know you are busy, so thank you for making time to chat to us. <laughs> It's it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to be honored like this. We are honored. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you actually joined us. So, Bitlaren, is there anything on your mind that you would like to share with us, especially when it comes to the STIs? The young people mostly, you know, that the, the challenge that they are facing is that they are scared or afraid to go to the mm. clinic and seek for medical attention simply because hey, they don't know which, where will I start. If we allow for saying it, hey, bankawati. So what, what advice can you give to the young people out there, especially when it comes to treating STIs and taking them serious? Okay, first and foremost, I love what you said, that the best thing you can do for yourself is to acknowledge that you are not well. So that is number one. The second thing is to take the embarrassment, put it behind you, and actually go to a clinic or go to the doctor. We are fortunate that most of our clinics, we don't have to pay. Yes, we might have to wait a little bit, but you don't have to pay anything. And there's the, one of the best, best uh, management of sexually transmitted illnesses and diseases that is so well structured. If you do adhere to the principles that the nurses will be giving you, you will not be visiting them again. Like I guarantee you that. So if you are, if you have the privilege, then you can see a doctor, but the first two things that you can do for yourself is to accept, acknowledge that you are sick, number one. Number two, take those steps and listen to what you are told. That will help you to have a more healthy sexual lifestyle. And that will actually help you to teach other people about, you know, how you can prevent um, sexually transmitted diseases and infections because they are preventable, you know, and that's the best that I can say. Mm. Okay. So how are you finding this field? Like, how, how, how are you? 
besides the COVID, let's put the COVID in a corner. Like, how do you find this field? Don't you get those weird looks in your Like, you get there and you find a man and you're like, okay, uh, brother, I'm not sure if I'm still sick. Like, how are you finding this field that we know mostly to be dominated by women? Um, <clears throat> I must say, uh, in my more youthful time, um, um, it, it was quite because you, you are you feel gender misappropriated because you and you are correct um it's more dominated by women and it is <clears throat> how can i say it has its rewards because there's something um that comes with seeing someone who is very sick mm -hmm. and then with what you have been taught the skills that have been bestowed in your hands mm -hmm. eyes ears nose you see that person gradually getting better and going back to their loved ones and starts living their life, you know. So there are some things that money cannot buy and those are rewards to restore someone's livelihood, someone's health, someone's self-esteem, self-confidence, you know, to restore them back to life. That, that is something money cannot buy. So it's, 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 it's very, very rewarding. Yes, we do have challenges whereby... Um, COVID, we've gotten used to it. It's more than a year now we've been doing yeah. this. So um, <clears throat> it is only frustrating when you have to turn someone away because you don't have a bed for them. You know? Fortunately, we are not at that stage whereby we have to turn people away. We can still cope with people coming to hospital, but it's just a plea to everyone to just continue with the um, health um, the health department um, guidelines, social distancing, washing of hands, sanitizing of hands, wearing of masks, avoiding large crowds. If we can do just the basics, we will be fine. We will not experience any economical closures. People won't lose their jobs, lose income. So we have the power to control it, but we just need to behave and we just need to follow and we can follow. Because looking at the numbers right now, we were expecting to be Oh, we were expecting to be rallying by now, yeah. but that shows that mm -hmm. people are adhering, mm -hmm. you know, people are trying. So if we can just continue, because it is real, it is there. Um, I've seen about 10 COVID patients today. So they are here, but they are well. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not sick people who are going to die. They are well people who can go and isolate at home. So it is there, you know. It's just that we've learned so much about this that we don't want to see people die, you know, so that is what we want. Mm. Okay, no, that's great to hear that. Passion, passion plays a great role, I guess. The satisfaction that Absolutely. you get after you seeing someone healing, you're like, yeah, now mission accomplished, you feel completed. Okay, we have a Next question from person. Obile. Mm. Obile wants to know what is the difference between razor bump rash and STI rash, like after you shaved, that rash that comes after because you use the razor and then STI rash, how do you then differentiate? When do you become a okay. doctor? When you <clears throat> okay, so those two rashes, um, they will look the same. So you will not be able to differentiate. The only thing that will be the same every time is after you shave, you will develop that rash because that rash is not necessarily a rash. It's just the body's way of growing, you know, because mm -hmm. um, hair has to grow back. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the hair follicles bump through the skin and that's how we end up having a rash. Mm -hmm. When it's a sexually transmitted infection, you would have not shaved. And then that rash will come. You will mostly have that skin will be very, very hot. So you will feel that it's hot. But when it's a shaving one, it's it's just bumps, you know, it's um, very fine, you know, so it's not really protruding, but when it's a STI, it will be hot. Um, and even sometimes you will have a unpleasant odor coming, you know, from, from the genitals. So the difference would be the one will be related to shaving, but the other one will be without shaving it will happen so you you need the the shaving one you can always prevent there are many over-the-counter um creams that you can buy um to use before and after you shave and that will reduce <clears throat> you having um we we call it um 
excoriation dermatitis, but that's only because I introduce the blade to mm -hmm. shave and then my skin gets irritated, you know. So you can buy some creams, mm -hmm. apply before you shave and after you shave, you won't have that problem again. But with the STI one, yeah. And it's more painful when it's a STI. Okay. Okay, Mobile, so in a nutshell, uh, the, rash, uh, the rash that you get after using a razor is bound not to be uncomfortable. It won't be itchy, it won't be uh, uncomfortable, and it won't be painful, whereas the one with an STI will definitely be painful and cause a lot of discomfort. That's when you can realize that you need to seek medical help. So anything on your mind that you would like the young people to note out there? Health-wise, generally, what is it that you would like these young people to keep note of, especially when it comes to taking care of their own health. We know some will, will, will run away, will do anything in their power to avoid consulting. They would rather opt for self-medicating, be it through be it through going over the counter medication. But what is it? Others will naturally tend to ignore and put a blind eye on the fact that they are not well. What is it that you can try and say to them to encourage them to know that they need to take responsibility of their health? Okay, um, the best way to take care of your health is to listen to your body. You know, um, your body will tell you um, that something is not right, you know. So be it related to your reproductive health, be it related to your airway health, your skin's health. So the body has a way of telling us that something is not right, you know. Um, I don't personally, I don't have a problem with using alternative or traditional medicine, you know, homeopathic medicine, that works well. Mm -hmm. Because before science and before we had um, very esteemed people with PhDs, postdoctoral fellows, mm -hmm. um, our ancestors used the herbs that came from Mother Earth mm -hmm. and they were relatively healthy because here we are, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, as long as you know what you are putting inside your body, so you need to be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. You just need to know what you're putting inside your body. Mm -hmm. But just to not make it a very long thing, mm -hmm. listen to your body and try and know what you are putting to your body, into your body, you know. So I'm not going to just take multivit multivitamin, I'm so sorry for that. Multivitamin, yes, will help boost here, there, you know. But if it's not solving the problem, I need to go and seek professional, you know, health um, care. So... I would advise people to just listen to your body. If something in your body is not right, your body's telling you, go seek help, you know. So you just need to know, for one, what's wrong with you? And secondly, what you put into your body because you're introducing stuff into your body and sometimes it's not so nice. Mm -hmm. So Wobab Zamini, um, you will tell him, but all in all, Basically, you just need to rest because now what we do is Monday to Monday, we're working because um, you work normal. You have overtime. You have a little business that you're doing. You, you'll you feel, okay, I think you know, but your body is telling you rest. So okay. try listening to your body first before you run to Bab Lami, you know. And of course, I would avoid excessive sugar intake. Um, we are, <laughs> um, some people, even my colleagues, myself included, um, I'll be having a chocolate in the morning. I'll be having Coke. I'll be having all sorts of nice um, things, you know. Unfortunately, our bodies learn to cope with that. As soon as that is not there, you become fatigued, you know. So you don't want to teach your body habits that when they are not, those items are not in the body, the body doesn't know now how to respond when something is no longer there. So drink as much water as you can. Just the basic basics that we are taught growing up, eat fruits, um, rest, exercise. I'm guilty. I also don't exercise as much as I would like to, but the benefits of just listening to your body and treating your body, because this is our biggest form of defense, you know, from any illness, you know, yeah. Yeah, I've been telling people that, um, our bodies are just going back, you know, they have learned how to deal with by, by the body by itself. It has learned to deal with quite a lot of things, you know. If you take care of this body, you will go through, there will be COVID, 
Ebola, they will be whatever disease that will come. Yes, I'm not saying you that you won't be affected, mm -hmm. but chances of you having a very, very bad um, illness in that time becomes very little because you prepared your body for, you know, whatever the world throws at it. So just take, listen to your body and just take care of it. That's the best that I can say. Mm. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you very much for that input. And please keep doing that wonderful job that you are doing. Uh, keep helping us, keep uh, making us realize the importance of these bodies so that they can keep yes. us for more years. And yeah, please keep being their voice for the young people. And thank you for the wonderful job that you are doing. We appreciate you. Thank you again for this opportunity. And thank you for um, you know, um, having to be able to join you and I wish you guys at Love Life all the best and everyone who's watching, all the young and old people actually, um, we can do a lot more things if we just take care of one another. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your time and have a lovely day, Feather. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, that was the discussion that we are having with one of our nurses who's doing a wonderful job so that we guys can always keep in mind that we need to keep moving. We need to take care of our bodies. We can never emphasize strongly enough to say, guys, you need to continue taking care of your body. Your body is your temple. If your body is not okay, you have the simple tips. Listen to your body. If your body is sending you a signal that something is not right, take action. So that at the end of the day, this very same body of yours can get back to health. When it comes to STIs, guys, it is very important for you to know that when you see any change that you are not used to, when it comes to your private part, you know by now that we have discharge. The discharge that we have, we know that is normal discharge. You'll be told that it needs to be clear as water. And should it change that suddenly you have a discharge that is yellowish or greenish or even more thicker and it's now smelly, you have itchiness, all those things are a sign that something is not okay. And in those instances, it doesn't necessarily mean that every time when you might be having burning urine or a smelling discharge, automatically it means that you have an STI. But the best way for you to know at the end of the day simply means there's an infection. Be it something that is serious, be it something that is minor, that can just be treated by over-the-counter medication. But at the end of the day, remember, you need to consult a medical personnel so that you can get the proper help that you need. And once you've gotten that help, you will know that next time should such and such happen, you would know what is it that you need to look out for. So while we are still on the discussion about STIs, guys, we also need to remember that at the end of the day, when it comes to prevention of STIs, the most effective method that has been proven by far is condom usage. When you use a condom, you are guaranteed that you are protecting yourself. Because we know once you want to get sexually active or are sexually involved and there is no condom, that's where you are actually opening a channel. It's like walking into, the, into a game reserve. When you know there are lions, there are snakes that are there and you are willingly just walking without anyone who's securing you or without any security. That's the same with having unprotected sex. When you're having unprotected sex without a condom, you are putting yourself at risk. There are chances of you being contracting HIV, amongst others, other sexually transmitted infections. You might be fully pregnant without even planning or even impregnating somebody else while you're not even ready to be a father. So the most important thing is that condom has always been and still remains the most effective way ever for dual protection. Because with condom, you know, there is no way somebody else will be pregnant and there is no way you will catch or even transmit any infection whatsoever. So it is important to know that regardless of how much there might be a lot of meat out there, if you're using a condom, sex is not the same. They might be there. They, that's exactly what they are. They are meats. And when we have all this meat, you always need to know the truth prevails and the truth remains. At the end of the day, condom is still the best to be used. So whenever you feel that whenever you want to be sexually active, remember, condomize. Condomize, Baba. Condomize, lady. Else, let's condomize. Else, you don't want to be finding yourself being shy or being embarrassed to go to the clinic and seek help when it comes to STIs. So guys, uh, remember, we are Love Life NGO. We still remain the youth advocate. We still remain your voice to say that we are here for you, with you, and all about you. 
this platform is about you so anything that you feel that you have in your mind anything that you feel should be of discussion please feel free to engage with us you can request to go live with me so that we can have that discussion and at the end of the day enlighten each other like we always do you can also find us on social media platforms on facebook we are love life ngo you can inbox us you can also dm us on instagram love life ngo any comment question or topic that you suggest we should talk about you are more than welcome to do so and keep in mind that our counselors are always available on the line to give you the psychosocial support that you need through counseling and in order for you to be able to access them you just need to send a please call me to 083-323-1023 so that you guys can be able to get all the help that you need love life for the young people so we are here for you and all about you so guys uh, can i not talk alone again today so please 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 pretty please send those requests so that we can go live and have a discussion anything that is on your mind if you have something that you would like to talk about feel free to just request to go live so that we can engage we can talk about anything and anything that is on your mind remember at the end of the day this platform is about you and for you so guys as we already uh, as i was still catching up on the events or the points that we had throughout the month we spoke about uh, workers day where we touched on unemployment to say that yes the rate of unemployment is still a challenge most young people are still unemployed and it's a challenge it's a sore point we can never look past that but at the end of the day you need to know that you should never give up keep pushing keep hustling one day things will turn around we also spoke about uh, the nurses day that we had and we spoke to one of the nurses earlier on who's doing a great job as well so all that we can say is that as a young person living in south africa currently for you to be in a corner or for you to feel that you are no longer doing what you are supposed to do or for you to feel that as a young person you cannot even go out and reach out to look for help that is not even something that you should be considering we have so many facilities that are free to use we have so many facilities that are available to you should you feel that you have any ill health whatsoever so please 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 utilize those facilities go to the clinic ask for help remember it is your body your health your responsibility if you don't take care of your body it definitely will not be taking care of you in future it won't take you longer than you would require it to do so so at the end of the day remember responsibility your health matters take the action to ensure that you become as healthy as possible and we also have you know that contact center is there should you feel that there's anything that you are not clear of anything that you want to know whatsoever all you need to do is send a please call me then the counselors will be able to explain anything any question that you want to know or any comment that you would like to pass through they'll be able to be there to listen to you and guide you so one other thing that we are wrapping up on is the boy child remember we had the international boy child day where we spoke about the most important factors to say it is very important to know that every boy child needs to be nurtured it is very important to know that every boy child needs to be cared for every boy child deserves to be loved pampered cared for unconditionally despite their gender just because a child is a boy it doesn't mean that they need to be taught only on how to be defending themselves using power but they also need to be having positive role models when we are talking about positive role models we know that there are a lot of boy kids who are being raised by single parents but that doesn't necessarily mean that there is no male around who can actually be a positive role model those males are there for a reason and those males are there for them to be able to be showing this boy child a light all that matters is that as a parent ensure that you associate your kids with positive role models you cannot be encouraging your child to be spending time with a group of people or company or even one person who doesn't really motivate them or influence them positively so at the end of the day it is still your responsibility as a parent to guide your child towards people who can be able to help them grow in a positive light and most importantly when it comes to boy child and grooming and nurturing this is something that needs to be done holistically therefore you cannot be saying as a neighbor you are just watching because that child is not yours but you also need to be playing a role and remember when it comes to roles you need to know that you cannot be sitting back 
and expecting somebody else to be taking actions. Instead, you need to be the change that you want to see. Go out there and be the beetroot. Remember the reason why the beetroot was mentioned was simply that there can be seven different food with different colors on a plate and each color will stay in their lane and they will not be affecting other colors. But the minute you put in beetroot, we all know that the whole plate is going to turn maroon or red because of the beetroot. So go out there, be the change that you want to see, and most importantly, be a positive role model. Remember, guys, you can also be able to request, you can request to go live with us. If there's anything that is on your mind that you feel that you want to share, feel free to send your request so we can go live and have that discussion. And Mobile saying regarding unemployment, does Love Life have work or volunteer opportunities at this moment? And Mobile, everything that is available on Love Life when it comes to vacancies or volunteering, it is always publicized on the website. So please check the website www.lovelifengo.org.za. That's where you will find anything that has to do with post. If you can just say vacancies, you will be able to see anything that is available because that's where they are constantly being updated. So anything that is available, it gets posted on the website. So Nobile, familiarize yourself with the website so that you can be able to find out if there's anything that you could be interested in at the moment. Okay, guys, uh, remember, you can still send your comments like Nobile did. You can send your questions. You can send your queries. Anything that you feel that you want to share with us, feel free to do so. And most importantly, remember, you can reach us via inbox. Anything that you are discussing, someone asked uh, previously if they want, if the world won't know about what they're talking about on inbox. And like I said previously, I'm still emphasizing that. No, any discussion that is happening in the inbox, it is between you and the counselor who's assisting you and nobody else. There is no information that will be shared without your knowledge or your permission. So anything that we are doing or any conversation, any communication is discreet. So there is no way somebody else will know about what you said without you wanting it to be shared. So feel free to go via inbox. As we know, there are people who feel that they've got things that you would, they would like to talk about, but they don't feel free talking. They would rather be chatting. That's what the inbox is there for. You can be able to be texting. You can receive your counseling via texting through the inbox. So feel free to utilize it. And also, if you feel that you are comfortable enough with talking, like I said earlier on, feel free to send a please call me to 083-323-1023 and our counselors will definitely get back to you and be able to assist you with anything and everything that would be on your mind. So guys, uh, like we always say that this platform is about you. So if you are not requesting to go live with me, I'm talking alone. So yeah, my lovely people, uh, let's, let's send those requests so that we can go live so that we can communicate. So all that you need to do is just send that request to go live, then we will add you and just ensure that you've got proper network where you are so that we can have a fruitful discussion and conversation should move forward. While we are still on that note, we know that uh, this month is, is another month that is ending that has been full of so many events. But as we know that uh, we, can, we can hear with the news here and there that the third wave for COVID-19 is upon us. So I still urge you that, guys, when it comes to COVID-19, we have managed to survive uh, the first, the second wave, and we are still standing. All that we need to do is to always keep in mind that it is your sole responsibility to ensure that you adhere to the basic rules that will enable you to be protected when it comes to being infected with COVID-19. That simply means Keep sanitizing. You know, when it comes to sanitizing, other people will be saying they've been sanitizing for so long, it's too much. Yes, it's too much. Wearing that mask it gets too much. But at the end of the day, it's what you need to do to ensure that you protect yourself. Wash those hands regularly as much as you can to avoid you contaminating or even putting yourself at the risk of being infected. Should you feel that your body is giving up on you, Never ever wait. We know that the flu season is here when it's cold. Never wait until it is too late. When you feel that you are not okay, whether it can just be ordinary influenza or flu that we are used to, please at least get medication for it. That way you'll be showing that you are boosting your immune system so that it doesn't feel as if 
the body is fighting alone and we are not even giving it anything to boost so please 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 guys let's not be ignorant when it comes to COVID-19. COVID-19 is still a reality. It still exists. All we need to do is to continue sanitizing, wearing those masks, keep social distancing, wash our hands regularly, have open windows if you are in a closed place and ensure that air will be circulating to avoid us putting ourselves in such risks. Should you feel that there's anything that you want to know or anything that you need uh, from someone from Love Life, if there's anything that you want on more clarity when it comes to COVID-19, the restrictions or the regulations on how to better take care of yourself, you can access us via all the social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Love Life NGO. You can also find us on Instagram, Love Life NGO. You can also send a please call me to 083-323-1023 and ask anything that you feel that you want to know. So while we are here there, please note that uh, like yesterday, it was Africa Day and people were busy celebrating. So if you have anything on your mind, please do share with us, how did you celebrate your day? Was there something interesting? What did you do? Uh, did you cook that malam khodu? Anything that you feel that was there, can you kindly just share with us so that we can know how did you best celebrate your Africa day? With that being said, this just reminds us that as people, we have diversity, we are so diverse and our diversity is the best that we can still get. So when you're talking about Africa, you are proud to be you. You are proud to be Mnyama like me, so Wabo, you know that this is me being African. So being African simply means being able to express who you are, being able to embrace the different cultures that we have, being able to nurture the different traditions that we were raised with, but at the end of the day, we still remain one because we are all human beings we still need to be loving, caring, and protecting each other, regardless of where in Africa we are residing. So if there's anything interesting that you did yesterday, be it you were with your friends, be it you were at home, anything that you feel that you need to share with us regarding you celebrating your Africa Day yesterday, please feel free to do so by sending your comment, or you can also just request to go live with us and share as to how was your day and what was most exciting for you about the day or what is it that stood out for you when it comes to you celebrating that day yesterday okay lovely people remember like we always say that when it comes to love life you are not restricted you shouldn't feel under pressure you shouldn't feel undermined anything that you want to talk about is always welcome be it relationship be it your studies be it a uh, career wise anything that you feel that you need to share with someone we all know that life is not easy life has challenges and sometimes all you need is someone who can just listen sometimes all you need is someone who can allow you the platform to just go out there and talk about anything that is on your mind you just want someone who can just allow you to just cough out everything that is on your chest so you can feel lighter and better and that simply goes to show that at the end of the day, we still remain responsible for ourselves. Because if you don't reach out, no counselor will be able to know that you need help. But if you take responsibility of knowing that I'm not okay emotionally, I need someone to talk to, and you send that, please call me, then you are taking a stand. You are making an action, you are making a move, taking an action that should enable you to get the help that you need. So what you need to look at is that as a young person, never, ever, ever underestimate your emotional well-being. Yes, we do know that there are people who will be thinking, ah, this is nothing, it will pass, I will be fine. I can continue with my day as usual as if nothing is happening. But what you need to do and what you need to know is that regardless of how you might think your problem is little, the fact that it's worrying you simply means it's something that needs to be addressed. And that is what we are here for. We are here for you, with you, so that we can talk to you about anything that is bothering you and guide you towards your emotional well-being. Nobile is asking, how is the COVID vaccines rollout going? Can the public get it yet? Nobile, last time I checked, uh, the, the public who are currently getting the COVID vaccines, I'm not sure whether is it public as like public, but I do know that uh, there are people who are using medical aids like the likes of Discovery, who were actually offering uh, the vaccines for people who are 60 years plus. 
the the elderlies are the ones who are still currently been getting the vaccines as for the general public it hasn't been announced yet that we can all get it so but for the elderlies i understand there's an app or a way where they need to register so they can be tell, be told where can they go to ensure that at the end of the day they can be able to receive that vaccine uh, roll out once they have been registered they'll be able to be placed and told where exactly should they go so that they can be able to continue and rolling it out so for now it is the elderly that are still getting the vaccine roll out as for the rest of the young people mm -mm, not yet it hasn't been announced mm, sandy Lesa is uh, my africa day was so informative Malibu. I got a young history lesson from Fry Pen <laughs> and Sandy Let GQ. Okay, Sandy Let, you clearly had a lovely day from Fry Pen. Okay, lesson from Fry Pen. I wonder what was the lesson all about, but I'm glad that you had a very interesting day, Sandy Let, and you were informed and you managed to get history. So now we know that uh, there's something important that Sandy Let learned on that day. Okay, guys, uh, remember, feel free and you are welcome to send uh, the request to go live with me so that is there anything on your mind that you would like to share, you can be able to do so, so we can have a discussion. Uh, should you feel that there's something that you want to say, but you are not comfortable to say it on this platform, you can feel free to send us an inbox on Facebook, Love Life NGO, so that we can be able to chat with, it, with you so and get to the bottom or give you the necessary assistance that you need. At the end of the day, this platform is about you, for you, and with you. So as a young person, this is the platform that you need to be utilizing. This is the platform that you need to put to good use so that at the end of the day, you can know what is it that you need to do and how best do you do it without feeling limited. So if you are a young person out there and you would love to have a conversation with me, please do so by simply requesting that uh, to go live with me. Once we go live, we can have that discussion and anything that is on your mind, we can talk about it. So if you feel that there's anything that you would like to add on regarding the STIs or anything, or should I rather be wrapping up on the STIs? Okay, let's look at the important points when it comes to STIs or everything that we spoke about today, guys. Remember, when it comes to STIs, what you need to focus in on is ensuring that you listen to your body. Any difference, any changes to your private parts, especially you take note of them and you seek medical assistance. Never, ever, ever ignore the changes that you see on your private parts. Remember, you only have one private part and it's not replaceable. So should anything happen to it, <clears throat> I mean, there is no replacement. So please ensure that should you feel that there is a possibility that you might have an infection, go and seek medical assistance so that you can be protected. While you're also talking about uh, protection, remember, condom still remains the best. No matter who says what, no matter the myths out there, no matter, hey, hey, sex is not the same with a condom, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, condom is the only weapon that you have that can guarantee you being protected from unwanted or unplanned pregnancies and contracting any sexual transmitted infections. Okay, guys, uh, seeing that none of you are willing to go live with me, none of you are requesting to say hello, I don't know what does that mean, uh, let's quickly check if maybe there is someone who might be requesting to go live. Okay, I don't see anyone who is requesting to go live. It means that we have a question. Is it possible to have pimples on your private parts that are harmless? Harmless. Okay, we do know that there are people who have pimples, especially after using a razor. Some, some of those pimples, they don't completely disappear. They remain being there. So we can take them as being harmless. Anything that is can be considered as harmless is anything that doesn't have discharge. When you talk about pimples, remember pimples that are STI related are bound to have discharge. Be it it can be in a liquid that might be waterish, be it it can be a liquid that might have a color, be it yellow or whitish or greenish, but at the end of the day, it will eventually turn into something more than just a pimple, but a sore. It will turn into a wound. There's a difference between having a saw that is just a plain saw and having a saw that has uh, some the contents, be it mucus or something like that. That is when it somehow reflects an infection. But to be on the safe side, remember, we cannot always be saying any pimple is just harmless or any pimple is actually a problem. The only way or the only thing that can give you peace of mind is going to the clinic. 
if you go to the clinic if you have this sort of pimples but you suspect they might be harmless you are probably going to get the same answer they will put your mind at ease knowing that okay i have nothing to worry about then you will also prevent and avoid having all these palpitations and fear all the time wondering if this could actually turn into something bigger so for your peace of mind just consult the clinic so that you can get that rest assurance that indeed they are just harmless or not all right lovely people uh, it was nice speaking to you as always even though you decided to make me talk alone again okay thank you to the brother brother ness we see you there thank you very much for making time to talk to us and continue doing a wonderful job that you are doing and to all the other nurses out there please guys uh, continue doing the wonderful job that you are doing uh, you took an oath and you are indeed saving us continue being the best that you can possibly be and while we are at that you should also know that as a young person you need to keep in mind that your health matters as much as your physical and your emotional health they are your responsibilities so should you feel that you need someone that you can talk to should you feel that you need someone that you can reach out to you are more than welcome to do so by reaching us through love life ngo on facebook and on instagram and you can also speak to our counselors by sending a please call me to 083-323-1023 and speak to one of us another question how often should people go and test for hiv when it comes to hiv testing as regularly as you can the good thing with hiv is that when you go and test for the first time the very same nurse that will be testing you will inform you or advise you as to when should you come back meaning they will advise you as when would be the next window period for you to come and retest again but the best way for you is to make that first step once you start and go and get tested that's when you can be able to know as to how often do you need to go and get tested especially if you're having unprotected sex okay no let's say my africa day was very informative i engaged with three friends from i'm not sure ghana and nigeria i realized how much similarities we have culturally like food traditional practices and history i was embarrassed on how much they know about south africa while i didn't know anything about their country Mobile, the fact that you made that first move and engage with these people and you even managed to pick up the similarities that are there on its own says that you put an effort and that's all that counts so now you know Mobile, that you need to go out there and read as much as possible and get as much information as you can about other countries and their cultures so that you can be more informed but the most important thing is that as africa we are diverse and but the bottom line is that we have that similarity at the end of the day you can still go to any african country you will find morocco regardless of how my how they will be cooking it or how they will be naming it but at the end of the day that green vegetable will definitely be there that goes to show that there are certain things that are so similar even though we want to believe that we are different okay thank you for that mobile okay guys like we are saying to wrap it up for the day Thank you very much for making time to talk to us. Remember that this platform is for you, with you, and about you. Do not ever feel that any problem that you have is little. Don't ever underestimate the emotional challenges that you are going through and ensure that at the end of the day, you take responsibility to seek for assistance in order for you to get that peace of mind, in order for you to get that person who can listen and guide you and give you that lending ear. Please do so by sending a please call me to 083 three two three ten twenty three and our counselors will talk to you we are there on love life ngo on facebook feel free to inbox us any questions comments or query and we'll be able to get back to you with that being said hopefully we'll meet again next week same time same place on this platform and we'll have another fruitful discussion take care of yourself and have a lovely day ciao ciao